Good morning, I'm Al Levin, Mayor of Mesquite. Today's COVID-19 report is 33. The other day I was pleased to have the City of Mesquite's Victim Advocates representative with us. However, we forgot two important things. One was to thank the Virgin Valley Artists Association for their generous donation to the advocates, and secondly, a phone number should you need to contact them. The number is 702-346-5244. You can call 24-7. This past week has been unusually busy at City Hall, and for that reason I will not be doing another video until next week. As it appears now, I will be doing them at least three times a week, but not on Fridays. There's been a lot of discussion in the past few days on the sudden uptick in COVID-19 cases in Clark County. As usual, everyone is an expert and has or thinks they have the reason why. The same holds true in a number of other states that have experienced an increase in cases. The blame is being put on an increase in testing or the early opening of various venues or large assemblies of people in confined spaces and several other reasons. It doesn't matter if some states have been looking at closing down some of what was opened. What worries me is hearing the governor is not ready to go to the next phase of reopening. And if you read between the lines of what he had to say, maybe going backwards if the data shows a continual increase in cases. He didn't say it directly, but I'm still concerned. Yes, I know there'd be some businesses that would ignore his directives, but others would comply, such as casinos and salons. I'm not telling anybody what he or she can do. I'm not warning anybody or threatening them, but I am suggesting using common sense to protect yourself and others. I want us to move forward, not backwards in our recovery. Even though it appears that it is difficult to get COVID-19 from surfaces, yesterday I stopped at a major store in Mesquite that had no hand sanitizer or wipes available when you entered. Their company policy requires it. Most of the customers were not wearing a mask and some had them only on their chin or only on their mouth and chin. Why wear one if you don't wear one correctly? Speaking of masks, the issue is one of the most confusing one I can imagine. The more I read, the more confusing it is. First you shouldn't, and then you should. It is being debated as to what type, what material, and so on. I've heard from some people that they are healthy and don't need one. Are they thinking of others? Are they asymptomatic? Maybe and maybe not. It all comes down to the bottom line. The virus is real. We have well over 2 million cases in the United States with over 117,000 dead. Of course you can debate the number and some will. I still see posts on social media that it's all a hoax or a deep state plot to take over our country and deprive us of our freedoms. Some say it was started by the Democrats to disrupt the coming elections. Believe what you wish. We all have our choices in what we do, but we should try and make them wisely. And no, I'm not preaching to you, just saying what I hear. By the way, if we were to have herd immunity without a vaccine, we will need to have at least 60% of the population infected with the virus. We'll need another 180 million people with the virus. Just saying. On another brighter subject, I have with me today Shalita Guzman, the recruiting assistant for the United States Census Bureau. Shalita wants to talk to you today about a very important subject. How do we get more money for Mesquite that will fund the programs we all need? Hi everyone, as the mayor just mentioned, my name is Shalita Guzman and I work for the United States Census Bureau. I'm a recruiting assistant and also a census response representative, but today I'm coming to you as a fellow resident of this wonderful city of Mesquite. Responding to the 2020 census is so important because we only get one chance every decade to count everyone in our community so we can get the most funding possible for everything from schools and roads to healthcare, job development, and so many more resources. The census count will be used to determine how much of this funding Mesquite will get for the next 10 years. And once this count is complete, we are locked into those numbers until the next census is conducted in 2030. For each person who is counted, Nevada receives about $2,000 a year for a total of $20,000 over the next decade. That's how much we stand to lose for every single person who isn't counted. The 2020 census could not have come at a more critical moment. With the current economic hardship we are facing due to COVID, this census is absolutely crucial for the future of our community. When you fill out your census, all your responses are 100% confidential and protected by U.S. law. They can't be shared with any other agency or law enforcement, and they can't be used against you in any way. They can only be used to produce statistics. 
Responding is so easy. I did it online and it took me five minutes. And the city of Fernley has challenged us, the great city of Mesquite, to a census response rate challenge. We have several challenge contests planned throughout the duration of the census. The first contest ends on the 4th of July. The losing mayor, as of that date, will have to wear the opposing city's t-shirt to his next city council meeting, so the stakes are pretty high. And as of right now, Fernley is in the lead. Their response rate is currently 67.4%, while Mesquite's is 66.8%. So please go online to 2020census.gov to complete your census, or come join us for our Census Response Saturday at the Mesquite Senior Center, located at 102 West Old Mill Road on June 27th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can come enjoy a free hamburger and use the computers we have set up for you to complete your census right there at the Senior Center. We will also be giving away free Mesquite Means Home t-shirts to the first 50 households who actually complete their census questionnaire at the event. Assistance will be available in both English and Spanish. If you have it, please bring any of the mailings you received from the Census Bureau over the past months. This can be a letter, a reminder postcard, or the paper questionnaire. No matter how you choose to respond, we want Fernley's mayor to be wearing our Mesquite Means Home t-shirt to his council meeting after we win the first challenge contest on the 4th of July. One more quick note, we are still accepting applications to work on the 2020 census since it has been extended by several months due to the shutdown. Please go to 2020census.gov forward slash jobs to apply or contact me at 202-705-2773. Thank you, Mesquite. Let's shape our future together. Thank you, Shalita. The 2020 census has become more important than ever. Help her out. Help your families and help our community. Stay strong, Mesquite strong. Keep the faith and let's beat this virus by making good choices in what you do. Thank you.